What's going on guys, Kaivox and Mika Chi here. We are doing our TBR for I don't know what month. Please tell me. November. November. It's November though, already. I know, we're really late with this video and I'm really behind because it's already the seventh. I haven't read anything yet. Cool. So, um, I think go. I'm reading two books this month. Possibly three. It all depends on what this lady makes me do. That's right, you. What do we start with? Usually this. Oops. Okay, so we have two, three methods. Um, one, you just choose your books, which usually you just choose your books. Um, two, we got some wrapped books. Three, we have a jar with two little pieces of paper left in there. Um, we started off with 12, mm -hmm. 12, 12. I wrapped these um, at the beginning of time. I... How are you going to go further than that next time? Okay. Beginning of time. Yo. Beginning of time. I wrapped these. Um, Big Bang happened. Boom. I was there wrapping these books. Um, <laughs> God. Sent them into the future to future self me. And here they are now. Um, there were, used to be 12. Uh, now there's two. Now there are two. So therefore, we are going to roll a D... Four. Four. And then the first two will be the bottom one? Or you want it to be the top one? I don't one? care. All right. The first two will be the bottom and the... Um, don't so let... one and two, three and four. Yes. Three. Three. <laughs> and now four. All right. Oh, way. no. It's floppy. Oh, that's a thick boy. I have so much to read this month and I'm so far behind. Hurry up. I'm doing it. Hurry up. I'm doing it. Oh, my geez. So I... slow. We don't have all day here, lady. Oh no, another one of these. Very anime. Beast player, right? Beast? Yeah. Nahoko. There's Urahashi. a wolf. There's a wolf head underneath that. An epic YA fantasy about a girl with a special power to communicate with magical beasts and the warring kingdom only she can save. I, this isn't. This looks very Japanese. It's written by someone Japanese, but. Her name is Aelin. Aelin? Hmm. Family has important responsibility, caring for the fearsome water serpents that form the core of their kingdom's army. So when some of the beasts mysteriously die, Aelin's mother is sentenced to death as punishment. With her last breath, she manages to send her daughter to safety. Alone, far from home, Aelin soon discovers that she can talk to both the terrifying water serpents and the majestic flying beasts that guard her queen. The skill... Uh, this skill gives her the great power, gives her great power, but it also involves her in deadly plots that could cost her her life. Dude, it sounds so anime. It sounds very Hayao Miyazaki. Yeah, definitely. Love the it. The imaging too, or the absolutely imagery on the cover I'm is very. I'm all uh, for like this that too. Even if it is very long, that's a that's a good old boy. It's 345 pages, but. There's like no breaks. It's all words. Even the chapters are in the middle of the page. Uh, that's <laughs> so crazy. That, that adds packed. at least a couple pages, depending on how many chapters there are. So this one will be next year, uh, next month. Year. All right. Oh, it's you have weird... to pick my book soon. Oh, shh. And start wrapping. December. Or you already did it in the past. I did, it's Some been it. done. All right. So don't worry about it. <laughs> So my next read, C, is the TBR jar. It's either going to be Muse of Nightmares or Star Sight. So we'll see which one you pick. All right, so she made these cute little uh, envelopes. You can see. So we're going to open this up. Muse of Nightmare by L L Laney... Laney Taylor. Oh, Laney Taylor. Pause. There it is. No. Nope. Look at her disgusting handwriting. No, don't look. <sighs> I got to show them because I don't want them to think that there's any shenanigans going on. Love this beautiful cover. Oh, I love these covers. Red, this one's... Nice red this Very is nice, the UK nice. edition. I have the US edition also, but this one's prettier. Um, I know nothing about this book. All I know is I loved Strange the Dreamer. It was a strange 
for lack of a better word, book. Yeah. And it was very oh, the it's world so beautiful. The vi- the world is very like I didn't love it as much as you did, but I did appreciate the writing was done very well. Character development was very good. Um, the the magic system was very well done. It wasn't perfect, mm-hmm. but it was very well done and unique, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, I did like the first book. This is what I was talking about. She may make me read this one with Not her. Make you, but I'm, I would like you to read I would it. like to try. Um, so this is going to be on my TBR as well. Um not gonna lie, I need a refresher on the first book, but I definitely do not have time to reread it like I did with Shadow of the Fox last month. So I'm probably gonna look at like um, what's it called, clip notes or something of the oh, book to like they get have that. A, yeah, they always hmm. have it online, um, and get like a synopsis of what happened in the last one before I there start was a with lot. this one yeah. because I do remember the very ending, which is very rare because I forget endings a lot, but I do remember it. It was pretty epic. Because it was awesome. However, I want to remember some of the stuff that happened in the middle also so I can go on to here. But I feel like that book was so well written that I remember more than I usually do. Um, You know what I mean? Strange. His name is Strange, right? Laszlo Strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laszlo was very much... Like, he reminded me of Sazed a little bit. What? Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe That's it's like weird. maybe it's like the the um because he was kind of like a uh, what is it called like a record keeper type thing, wasn't he? Kind of like a he, librarian. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly either. But like in my head, I have like a Sazed vibe to him, which Sazed, you know, from. Um, but there is Mistborn. that epic stuff that happened at the end. So basically, there was blue people. If you guys re- want to know, there are blue people in this book. Therefore, Sarai. What does that mean? That was her name. No, I'm just... The don't girl... Tell, don't tell oh. them who's blue. Jeez, you don't, you don't want people to know who the blue people are. Um, Basically, I loved the first book. I can't wait to read this one. I can't believe it's taking me this long, but I knew it was going to be on in my TBR jar, so I didn't read it until now. Nine, can you stop beating your feet, please? Thank you. Really? That's... I, you don't hear the cat out oh, there? Oh, I hear him screaming. Yelling like he's like being yeah! murdered. All right. Um, next, this book you're currently reading. Ooh, that's reading. my book currently written. Curtain. I still need to read the second one, um, but I don't have time right now. Uru's Third Tempale by A Mother F and K. I did that joke again. Uh, A F K. Um, away from keyboard. Um, I love that cover. I don't know why. I just love I it. I do too. I feel like none of the, the three covers of these books, none of them really have anything to do with the book. They're just cool fantasy like silhouette covers because they're all like a, a, a mo- almost fully silhouetted character in the in the distance kind of doing yeah, something cool. Yeah. They're all that. Yeah. They're nice covers, but they I really, they, I feel like they, they, they invoke a good feeling for the book. Like it's a fantasy, epic fantasy. This makes me think cool of thing. Ico. A little bit, yeah, because it's like a ruined, ruined castle, castle type thing. The castle in the background. Yeah. Um, so, the first two books I liked, I gave them a four and a five. Um, five is our almost top tier. Top tier is starred, but that's like you know, epic favorite epic. favorite. Um, so five is pretty much as best as, for the most part that they can get. Um, I really liked it. Uh, I really like those two. And this one so far is in the same vein, but. It's getting more um, complicated and more things are being introduced and uh, some weird stuff is happening. Again, it has that really interesting... um, What's interesting? um, Something Shidoi. Mommy Shidoi. No. Oh, hold on. Almost Shidoi. Almost Shidoi. Hi. Got it. Um... It has a very interesting main character, which is one of my favorite, like, not tropes, but arch- archetypes? No, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, not archetype. What's that? Is that archetype for, like, a main character? I don't know. So we're going to say archetype. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Where the, the main character is not, per se, like, the, the, the master. He's not the, the, 
He's not the Bested, Neo, you know. Yeah. He's not Neo from the Matrix. He's he's just kind of like if Neo was was actually Neo before he was the one, you know, where he's just like he's a smart guy and he could figure things out. Like figuring yourself out of a pro figuring yourself out of a problem. Figuring yourself out of a problem. Does that make sense? I just said that and I don't know if it makes sense. I think it's more interesting than just being the most powerful and just being the best at something. It's like the main character in this is smart and that's what helps him figure himself out of a out of an issue out of the problems. Um, and I really like it. Um, I like all the side characters. They're cool and different um, enough. And um, I'm really hoping that this book is at least a five. Because so far it's at least I'd say so far, the fir I'm like this far into it. <laughs> oh my. I'm not very far. I'm Got like it. maybe two hours into it. Um, I'd say it's still a five right now for me. So I'm looking forward to it. Every month we do a book club uh, for we, November. We do? Our book club book is... To when, when is it usually? Is it like usually like the last Sunday, Sunday. around yeah. 2 p.m. Eastern? We do a live stream for it? Yep. All right. And this one is probably going to happen around the 29th of november maybe around 2 p.m eastern standard you can uh you know check that off on your calendar you should also read it because it has this guy right here he's the author he did aragon um we i never read those yeah books, we didn't like aragon or but, i didn't like it um i've heard things about him but he's an old man now just like us uh, i mean he's one of us probably our age is that not what i just said yeah <laughs> anywho um I didn't really love Aragon, but I've heard some good things about this so far. It's his sci-fi debut. I'm not going to read you the synopsis because I don't really want to know much about it. And I've read it before and I don't want to remember. Um, but yeah, we're doing a buddy read or book club rather. And it's like 850 pages and I haven't even started it yet. So I really need to get on this. Um, if you're interested in it, let me or let me know. Join the book club. And let us know. Leave us the comment down below. Let us know if you're going to join us. Um, it's yeah. always good to have a, a head count, you know, so we can get enough drinks and pl plates and, and snacks for everybody so it's not awkward, you know. Some people have already started it and they seem to be liking it. Um, I hear that the first chapter is a bit cringy, so if you can get through the first chapter, I hear it's good after that. Remember last time people showed up, we didn't have enough drinks. We didn't even have enough paper cups for yeah. everybody. So it was like, oh, no, I mean... I guess I'm going to have to go out and do some shopping for snacks for everybody, you know, and it was super uncomfortable. We barely got to talk about the book. I like that cover. Yeah. Is there something to do with a spiral? Oh, is there timey-wimey stuff in this? I have no if idea. If there is timey-wimey stuff in this, it automatically gets a one point bonus boost as long as it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense. Sorry. I don't know. Stop reading the synapses. You just said you didn't want to I read the synapses, I was looking for, like, man. time. Um, you just mentioned this before. Yeah. We have a uh, buddy reads that we do with our uh, Discord patrons. Um, so and if you want to join that, you just have to go over to the Patreon page. Uh, you just, I think, at the minimum... Is a dollar. The min minimum $1 thing. You can join the Discord. Join everybody on there. Um, the the book side of stuff on Discord is definitely way more active than the wand st side of stuff because there really isn't a lot to talk about wand stuff. But if you're into the book stuff and you want to we join talk a, lot. A, uh, a group of other uh, chatty Cathy's, um, is that actually the name of the thing? Yeah. Okay. The, the chatty Cathy is like, well, that's not the book section, but we talk a lot in there. Yeah. And uh, and Ka Ch and Cathy is, wait, chatty Cathy is just the general ch chat? It's like, a general it used book. to be the book chat, but we talked about so much besides books that I made it our book people chat, but not about books. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a buddy read. Um, this co I don't like this cover. Something about it makes me, I don't like the yellow. I the, love it. It's too bright. It's Home like, Before Dark by Riley Sager. It's a ghost story about a haunted house, about how this girl's father wrote a ghost story and then... After he dies, she inherits this house and now is going back to the house. But she thinks it's all bogus because she doesn't remember anything. And the father is basically saying, like, whatever happened to you when we lived in this house happened. And I wrote it down and she doesn't believe it because she doesn't remember it. Hmm. So now she's back at this haunted house. I'm probably, I'm like five days behind in this buddy read. I need to catch up today. But 
I'm probably now about 150 pages in, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, you want me to hold it for you? you sure. Like... I'm like, where do I put yeah. it? Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to see where it goes. Some ghosty type stuff has happened. It's a little creepy, and uh, I'm excited to see where it's going to take me and if it really creeps me out. It's very rare that a book creeps me out. Usually shows are more creepy because, like, the visual. But uh, I think everyone's pretty much enjoying it. I can't read the spoiler room chat because I'm not caught up. So I don't really know what people are thinking about it. But back when I was able to read it, they were liking it. And I'm liking it. So that's me too. that. Me too. It's so that's enough good. books for me because that's like a million pages that I need to read this month. We got a lot of books. This is so much. And I'm not even done with one how am I going to find What you're going to do, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. I have the audiobook to this You one. know what we need to do? You need to do some more puzzles. I do. That's the problem. I, I you haven't up, been doing puzzles. I picked up that Star Wars puzzle and I immediately got overwhelmed. And I it just Which like, one? I'm oh, kind of like in a puzzle slump. The big one. Because Is that I'm a like, 2000 one? Yeah. Um, but I put myself in a puzzle slump because I'm like... The dog just tried to shove herself under my arm and she'd failed <laughs> but yeah i do need to do more puzzles because that's when i read a lot that is yeah don't worry we're gonna start working on that well i gotta finish these that's it i mean this is a buddy read this is a book club and i have to read my wrapped don't one and my tbr jar book, dude so my tbr jar is gonna be a little different next year i'm actually in the process of writing down every single physical unread book i own on little pieces of paper and we're gonna shove them all in this jar so it's gonna be basically i'll have no idea what book i'm reading because this i knew there were only 12 so i knew i was reading one of those 12 um so yeah it's gonna be interesting how i'm probably gonna do it is if i pull one that i'm still going to read books randomly from my shelf that i want to read and we'll i'll still continue to do buddy reads and stuff and i if i pull a book that i happen to have already read i'll just re-pull um and I'm only putting first books to series that I haven't read. So I'm not like adding books two and three, okay, okay. whatever, because there's no point. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I'm in the process of writing those out. It's taking a long time. But yeah. Ah, stop it, stop it. Nine, stop, dude. Stop, stop. You love daddy way too much. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you stay tuned this far, this long, I want you to leave the word, I want you to leave a comment to prove that you were here. And in that comment, write the word. Do you want me to come up with one? Ghost. You haven't done that yet? I guess, ghost, um, in any way. Like, you know, like, I go- Phantom, spirit. Wait. That's a, a, a word that means ghost. I don't know. What about like oni? You said in any way. What about oni? That's demon. That's what about demon. what about? Yure. No, no, no. What's that word? Uh, that there's that game that people play where they like capture ghosts. Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> no, the Japanese one, Meek. What? The Japanese oh, one. Oh, Fatal Frame. No, Meek. Come on. <laughs> Fatal Frame, really? Nobody even knows what Fatal Frame is <laughs> anymore. It's so old. Let me know if you know what Fatal Frame is. It's that other game, that the one. It's that, a video game. Yeah, but it's like a cartoony one. It's like super cartoony looking. It's like a super cartoony, a super cartoony um, ghost game where the ghosts aren't even scary. Have I played this? Probably not, because it doesn't look good. Ghost. And it's not Luigi's Mansion. No. But it's it's that same like vein where they're not scary. All right, Ghost Game. Yeah, it was Fatal Frame was scary. Ghost Game. Maybe they're demons in that. Who knows? Ghost. Ghost Fighting Game. It's a fighting game. Fighting game. Mm, nope, not that game. Nope, not that. That's a, that's the word. Wrong way to look for it. Ghost. Not Ghost of Tsushima. No, it's not Ghost of Tsushima. It is called.
Maybe they're not ghosts. What are other words for ghosts or demons or something in Japanese? Go. Yokai. Yokai watch. <laughs> okay. Do you remember that? They're a demon. They're demons? Yeah. Damn it. All right. Well, I mean, I guess demons could be ghostly. What about specter? Whatever word you want to put down. What about unseen servant? What? What about what about All right. invisible? Okay. This should be interesting. Omoshiro. What is interested? Oh, damn it! I couldn't even say interested in English. <laughs> <laughs> Forget Japanese. Um, omoshiroi. I got it. I didn't even have to cheat by saying. I just said it. Almost shiroi. That's what I. That's how I. I remember now. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like we said. Uh, like the video, subscribe, join the Patreon, do whatever you want. Stay tuned for some more videos. Um, we're bunkering down now. We got the living room almost ready to go. There's some new stuff coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Say bye, Meek. Bye, Meek. Bye, bye, bye.